Hey everybody, it is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you five ways to get more sales on Merch by Amazon, or if you're not using other print-on-demand sites like Printful and Etsy, um, these will work for those as well. So yeah, I am live, and if you are watching, let me know that the stream looks good so I don't get going and it's all choppy or anything like that. Okay, so here we go. So first of all, um, I shared a thread in an amazing group group that I help, well, I help run, but it's Joe Clay's group on Facebook called Merch University. Hang on, let me squiggle my legs up. Okay, thanks guys in the chat. Hey, everybody. Okay, so um, I I made a, or I asked the question, you know, what are some different ways that you have used to get more sales on Merch by Amazon um, not organically and i'm not going to share everybody so if you're like man why did i share that now margaret's over here sharing with everybody i'm not i'm i've only picked ones that i have done um so if you're interested in seeing what are some of the other tips that people have shared then you have to go over to merch university and join um on facebook so that's there okay so here are some ways. Thanks for coming, you guys that are live. I'm so glad you're here. If you're watching later and you're interested in catching me live, then hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it. Thanks, Debbie. <laughs> okay, so here are some of the ways that I have used to get more sales on Merch by Amazon. Um, number one, now this one was kind of tricky and actually it, it's worked out well in some groups and not so well in other groups, um, is to offer your services um, to Facebook groups. Of course, you have to get permission from the admins in the group and you don't want to come across as spamming. And I, I personally wouldn't do this in a group that I wasn't a very active member in. Um, so there's a group that I, I'm a member in and I went and asked, you know, the admin, do you mind if I do this? You know, I'm not going to be charging anything up front. You know, I'm, I'm offering, you know, like pop sockets and shirts. So if people want to get some swag for their, it's a YouTube type group, you know, for their channel, then they, all they have to do is send me their logo or send me their picture and I can make a pop socket. Like here's my pop socket that I did for me. Right. Um, just cause it's goofy and silly and fun and people see it and like, Oh, what's that all about? And I can say, Oh, I have a channel. I just like out treasure. Anyway, or I can tell them, Hey, I can make one for you, you know? So I have one so that people see, I guess that's another way. I should save that one for another way. Oh, thanks. Um, so yeah, offering your services and putting it in a way that is not like buy my stuff, but more, I'm, you know, this group has done so much for me. I would like to give back. And honestly, I mean, unless I make a ton of sales off of it, it really is sort of a giving back type of thing because they uh, especially on pop socket it's like two bucks a pop socket so i was going to share you i was going to share you so this was the the graphic that i made up and i think i sh yeah i shared this in the thread let me show you so this is the graphic that i made um to put in the group so it's like custom pop sockets perfect personalized gift blah, blah, blah. no minimum order right because a lot of times people think you know if they're going to order shirts or things like that that they've got to go to a printer and then they've got to order you know there's like a minimum order and, and money up front sorry i got something in my eye so that's one way but i would be careful with it because especially if it's a group that you enjoy being in you don't want to be seen as a spammer and there were a few comments that people are like i'm surprised that this post is here and I had to explain well I'm not I'm doing it to help okay so there okay so again it may not lead to a ton of money but you know it might lead to leads in the future it might lead to something you never know or it can just be something fun and cool that you're doing for people that you like <laughs> what's wrong with that right it doesn't have to always be about the money right or does it not for me anyway whatever okay so next up, um, this is one that I have used. It's called Facebook Marketplace. And I have a screenshot. Let me show you how to get there. Facebook Mar Marketplace is like um, kind of like a garage sale online, but you don't have to sell physical items, right? I have posted some of my shirts, and I probably should do more, on Facebook Marketplace. And you guys, as you're watching, go over there, one, hit the thumbs up button. And if you're watching now or you're watching later and you have a other tips or ideas, then then leave them in the comment section because sharing is caring. And apparently so is a loud gonging clock. I didn't mute. No, I didn't go to Vegas. Um, we are moving, so we're in the new house trying to all the madness. 
it's expensive to move. <laughs> okay, Facebook Marketplace, let's get back there. I'm trying so hard to stay on topic, you guys. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna flip it over and we'll look at my friend Loraldo, who's a voice actor, because now we're gonna look up his nose. Hey, Loraldo, how's it going? Okay, so we're not looking at Loraldo for real. We're looking over here on the side where it says Newsfeed, Messenger, Watch, Marketplace. So there's Marketplace. And this is where you can come and sell items. So here I will click selling because this is showing what I'm selling. And then there are two of my shirts that I've put up there and they just stay, right? So here's a pumpkin spice one we did. Oh, Joe, if you're watching, which you're not right now, but remember when we did that challenge in the group and we had people get together? Oh, that was so much fun because this is the shirt I made with my group or one of the shirts we made. Anyway, so... I, you know, made this shirt. I put it up on Amazon. Pumpkin spice is every is everything nice. And then in order to order it, then oops, sorry, then um, they would click this link to go to my Amazon store to buy it. And you guys, I have to answer this. I'm sorry. It'll be fast. Hang on. Hello. Hello. Oh yes, I'm so sorry. May I call you back, please? Okay, thanks. I thought it was the ADT guy because he's like, you know, it's one of those you have a window and they're gonna call you before they right before they come. I thought that's what it was. Sorry, it wasn't. It was the librarian because <laughs> apparently I'm on speed dial. Anyway, whatever. Okay, going on. <laughs> um, next up we have. Okay, I talked about Facebook Marketplace. Okay, so the next thing is to talk to your friends and family. My pop socket thing that I shared, I shared it um, um, with my friends and family and just said, you know, hey guys, you know, if you want to make a, a present, if you got a new baby, you want to, you know, commemorate your, not commemorate your dad, but like my dad was in the Navy or you want to shame your cat or do, so, you know, something silly, fun gift idea. This is a good way to do it. And which is another reason why I have mine on my phone so if somebody sees it, so this is another good idea, you know, if you have one, you know, that you can show people, then they are more likely to say, oh, that's kind of fun. Can I send you a picture? You know, and then you can just send me the link. So that's happened. I've had a few of those. And then the ones that I've made, um, I've had a few sales from that, like maybe, you know, the person I made it for, then their sister saw, I was like, oh, that's cool. I'm going to order one. And they ordered it that too. So. While it may not be a ton of money up front, it's still uh, something. Hi, snickerdoodle. Give me a second. Almost when I'm done, okay? Okay. All right. So um, another, you know, like if your friends are going on a cruise or you're, you've got somebody having a bachelorette party or something like that, then those are some ideas that you could, you know, oh, you know, you got a birthday coming up. You want me to make shirts for little Leo's, you know, birthday party. So there's that. Okay. Um, the fourth way is to talk to local businesses that you know that you have a relationship with. Say, like I have a chiropractor I go to. You got who's getting a book. Um, he, hang on one second. Y'all, you gotta be appropriate. Okay. Nobody wants that. Okay. That's not why we're here. Um, so you want to uh, talk to those people. So like my chiropractor, now I'm not talking about, let's say you go to your local pizza place, right? There's a pizza place here called Conan's Pizza. I haven't talked to them yet. I'm still getting to know them. But once I get to know them a little better, I might say, hey, wouldn't it be fun if you could offer like this kind of stuff to you? Um, but if it was like Papa John's or, or Pizza Hut, well, that's a little different, right? You probably, <laughs> you probably couldn't, you know, because that's a big company and it's a bit you know you can't like like unless you have permission from them but you know like my local chiropractor or my you know the golf club that was nearby or you know the you know just little places that you have relationships with every day the co local coffee shop you know there's a, a, a mom and pop type coffee shop here um that would might enjoy things like that so i'm gonna take time away if y'all don't stop over there they're rolling around acting silly Okay, then next up uh, in the fifth one, is that it? Is that fast? That was fast. Okay, so the next one is Pinterest. Now, if you haven't gotten on Pinterest yet, this is something you can do. Um, I sometimes fall 
off the wagon and just start pinning shirts and not being smart about it. Um, so you want to be smart about it. And let me show you one of my Pinterest boards. That, that kicking of the, the couch is a little bit um, distracting, guys. So one of the Pinterest boards that I've got, um, let's say it's called By the Seat. Okay, this is one of mine. I don't just go in and spam my Pinterest board with nothing but my shirts. I have other things in there too. So I might have really cool art or po posters. I actually have some things that I have in my eBay, Etsy shop, and then I have my shirt. So this is an octopus one that I did and it had a, you know, was able to do a lifestyle graphic on make merch, right? And then this is just another one, a straight, you know, shark shirt that I did, right? So it's not just a page full of shirts because sometimes it's like people are not going to want to just follow like someone who's spamming, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. But if you're also posting things about like, look at this cool octopus art or look at this cool, you know, Spanish galleon or whatever, you know, whatever your <laughs> theme would be for that. Like I've got some other, you know, Destin, Florida, you know, vacation spots and all, I mean, just anything to do with going to the ocean, right? So there's that. Oh, thanks, Connie. I did a, a video on how I made that one a while back, so you have to go catch that. All right, so those are my five. So offer your services um, in Facebook groups. If you have permission, and be careful about it because you don't want to be spammy. Um, Facebook Marketplace, talk to your friends and family, get to know your local businesses, and reach out to them. Make sure you've got something that you've done, right? And this phone case is actually my sister-in-law's artwork which this i bought from printful so it's double whammy right so people can see her, her artwork on my phone case and my top socket on my uh on my phone case oh gosh too something in my eye and then pinterest so now again like i said there are more ways um that people shared so one check the comment section on this video later because i'm sure people are going to share because sharing is caring, and also go over and join um, Merch University on Facebook so you can get lots of great ideas. Joe's amazing. He shares so much. I wish I could be more active right now because of all the moving and stuff. I haven't been very active in the group, so um, soon. We're almost there. All right, I hope you guys are doing well, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great afternoon, everyone. Bye.